Nigeria attained independence from the British colonial rule on October 1, 1960, an era that has ushered in significant multi-sectoral growth in spite of socio-economic and political challenges. To commemorate the nation's 64th anniversary and reaffirm its commitment to Nigeria's unity and progress, the leadership of Surilo local government had a celebratory event that was well attended by council officials, community leaders, as well as pupils and teachers across various schools. The municipal chair, Bamidele Yusuf, described the 64th independent anniversary as another milestone in the history of the nation, acknowledging the sacrifices of the nation's founding fathers. I'm delighted to be here today, again, making the 64th independent day anniversary of our great country, Nigeria. This celebration is a manifestation of our vision. I welcome you all to Surule Local Government and I congratulate you for witnessing yet another independence anniversary. High points of the event included a flag raising ceremony, a match parade, drama, dancing, and multicultural presentations by participating pupils. Top participants received awards while school teachers called for increased government support to alleviate the high cost of living and improve learning conditions. Beautiful party for bringing the children together to celebrate together with Nigeria. And the Nigeria is going more to improve in more rights. We will gain more strength to move forward in Jesus' name. The government has tried, but they can do more. And also economically, they can help more parents and give us notebooks. They are giving textbooks already, but we we'll need more notebooks in the classroom because not all parents can afford notebooks. Residents were heard to be patient with the economic reforms of the federal government aimed at repositioning the nation's fortunes. Thank God, today, we have seen a president who is solving the problems head on. But there can be no gain without pain. It is the pain that we are suffering now. Please, I beg and I call on all Nigerians to be patient with this government because there will be light at the end of the tunnel. My message to Nigerians today is not much, but at least we should take a little patience more. We should take a little patience more. This man started not up to two years on the throne as the president of the country. If you can get those one he has got done now, achieved today, I think by God's grace he will do more than those who have been there as our president in the past. What Mr. President said this morning, we have not reached our destination. We, we are still making sure that uh, all what our founding fathers uh, fought for, we, we are still trying to get to it. And by the grace of God, uh, with time, Nigeria will get to it. We are, we are really celebrating today for our pupils in Surulere. Uh, as you all know, Surulere, we have 42 primary schools. And we invited all of them to come and uh, celebrate with them. Today, I believe uh, our pupils are happy. The event was a reflective one as resilient Nigerians envision a much brighter future that mirrors the country's huge potential.